All right, we're back, you guys. It's day 20 of 30 days of fitness with Mind Pump. We're almost there, you guys, doing great. We're back to your mobility days. Remember, these mobility exercises can be, do, be done anywhere in your house, outside. You don't necessarily have to get to the gym. If you do get to the gym, that's totally fine. Also, don't forget, we're targeting that 12 to 14,000 steps per day if you can. And then we're going for your supine scorpion first. Then we move into your prone cobra second. Then we get into the handcuff with rotation. Make sure you guys take your time on this one. The handcuff with rotation is probably the number one movement that I have had all my clients do because you are working on that entire posterior chain, works on all those imbalances that most people suffer from with their upper cross syndrome. And make sure you guys hang in all the way to the end because Sal wraps this all together. The new movement that Justin added in here this week is the reverse crunch. Pay close attention to the form and technique and the cues that Sal and I give you here. And then of course we did the active plank that's in there also. Gave you guys a couple different camera angles so you guys can see the form and technique. And remember, if there's an exercise in here that you guys see, it doesn't matter if it's a mobility day or one of the strength days. If you guys have questions on it or you want more information, you can leave comments below or you can search those exercises because we've actually gone through and spent a lot of detail on those one single specific movements we're trying to wrap them all together in a video, get through them quick for you guys to keep you guys moving on your exercises. But if you want more detail, you guys can actually find that in our exercise library. All right, so we're doing the supine scorpion again. You're on your back, palms up, arms out, what's called the crucifix position. Bring one leg up, cross it over. Try to touch the floor without raising your shoulders off the floor. A lot of people, Sal, are going to have a hard time rotating all the way over. So it's totally normal if you can't reach. Justin has great flexibility and mobility for a bulky guy like himself. So some of you will not be able to get your foot to the other side. That's totally okay and normal. Just take it to that in range of motion. Stay connected everywhere. In other words, don't let your back come way off the ground. You're trying to keep those shoulders pinned back on the grass as you rotate from side to side. That's right. And you want to alternate from leg to leg. It's a constant motion. This is what gets you functional within new ranges of motion. And don't forget to copy the tempo that you see in this video. Coming up next, prone cobra. Here we witness in its natural habitat, the beluga whale washing up ashore. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we're doing the prone cobra exercise. We've done this now a few times. You're going to lay on your stomach. And when you come up with your arms, you're going to turn your thumbs up and bring your arms together, squeeze your shoulders down and back, and try and create lots of squeezing and tension at the top of this movement. I can't stress enough, Sal, how important this movement is. We're addressing the entire posterior chain, probably one of the most neglected movements that people should do that they don't do. I wish more people did this one, Adam. We would see less shoulder and back problems if people just did this exercise and did it right. Remember, at the top of the movement, rotate your hands so that your, your thumbs point up. Squeeze the arms together, drop the shoulders like you're trying to put them in your back pockets, hold that position for a second, come all the way back down, relax, and then repeat. Again, this is a slow and controlled movement. It's not a speed thing. Take your time. Focus on those end range motion. That's right. Next exercise coming up, handcuffs. All right. We are back in the lying prone position right here. Excuse me. Supine. Supine. Sorry. Well, prone. Prone is face down, Adam. Right. Sorry. I had it right the first time. It's okay. Yep. So you're facing down. Back of your hand on the small of your back, hands together, reaching up towards your neck. And then what you're going to do is you're going to reverse direction, stretch down, and come around. Now, as you get to that T position, you start to rotate your hands so that your palms face up. Once you get your hands all the way out in front of you, you want to reach towards the other direction. Yes, stretch it out and then reach back and touch your back. And then slowly open up. The entire time you're keeping that tension of those shoulder blades squeezed back together, till you return to that handcuff position. Once you return to the handcuff position, drive the wrist up towards your neck by not letting your hands touch your back and keep the elbows squeezed together. That's right. You'll notice Justin's feet and legs come off the floor. That's totally normal. When you're trying to squeeze up over your back, especially behind the neck. Now, Justin right here too, he's going through multiple repetitions. A lot of times with clients, this can be really challenging. So I'll do one full rep. I'll let them rest for a few seconds and then go at it again. Great point, Adam. You don't need to necessarily, if you can't do all the reps we tell you to do, that's okay. Just try doing your best. Coming up next, reverse crunches. All right, so this is a new exercise uh, in your workout. So reverse crunch, this is targeting the abs. You do get some oblique activation. You want to lay on a bench, hold on to the top of the bench to anchor your body, 
tuck your knees and your feet and just roll back. The cues on this are very important, though. A lot of people, when they open up, they're going to arch their low back and go too far back with their feet. When Justin's slow, he's going to resist the way back down. So as he opens up, he's resisting it with his abs, like he's laying down each vertebrae of his spine on the on the bench, and then he flattens his low back as he opens all the way up. And you want to stay tight. You're like you're rolling up a piece of paper. You don't want to shoot your legs up straight in the air, and you don't want to roll back off the bench. That could be dangerous. Uh, quite impressive the way Justin is lifting all of that weight as he rolls back and uses his core. Incredible glutes, Sal. Excellent. Uh, next exercise, active plank. All right, we're on the last movement of the day here. Today, we got the active plank with Justin. So you start in a regular plank position, tight core on your elbows and forearms, on your toes. Then you want to drop your hips while maintaining upper body posture, and you want to squeeze at the top by rotating the pelvis forward. So go all the way down to the floor is usually what I recommend people, and then you squeeze at the top. So you want to drop the hips all the way down to the floor. You want to feel that, ex that full extension of the abs and then squeeze at the top by tucking your pelvis. And he's piking up each time. Remember, a couple of cues, the elbows, you want them right underneath your shoulders, your wrist in line with the elbows. He's up on his toes. Each time he rotates up or pikes up, he's squeezing the abs as he lifts his butt all the way up in the air. And it's like you're tucking your tailbone. You don't want to have an arch back at the top. Otherwise, you're just extending the abs. You're not getting full range of motion. All right. You just did another mobility day, but you probably noticed We've added some core exercises. That's right. You're working on mobility and you're working on core stability and strength. Let's go over the exercises you just watched Justin demonstrate. So first exercise, supine scorpions, alternating. Nothing new there. You've done that a few times. Prone cobra, great for the mid-back, great for posture. Focus on the squeeze. Focus on the rotation of the hand. Really twist that hand and try to bring those elbows together. We did our handcuffs. That one is gnarly. Can't stand that one, but it's very effective for the shoulders. Here's your new exercise, reverse crunches. This is a great movement for the core. Now, contrary to popular belief, you are not working the lower abs by doing something with the, low, with, the, with the reverse crunch, just like leg raises. You're not working the lower abs. In fact, you can't work just the lower or just the upper abs. There's only two attachments, at the rib cage, at the pelvis. When I contract my abs, they all work. So there is no isolate. Now, why are we having you do reverse crunches instead of regular crunches? because it is a different recruitment pattern to get the pelvis to come back versus getting the upper body to come up. That's why we're introducing it. Don't worry, it'll all make sense at the end of this, all of this working out because we introduced more exercises. Then you did your active planks. Remember, tuck your tailbone at the top, squeeze your core. You want to build uh, an iron shell core. That's the movement to do it with. All these exercises, three sets, eight to 12 reps. Tomorrow, lower body fun. We got some new exercises to introduce to you. Also, look, share this video with your friends. Let's get them all involved. Comment underneath if you have questions. Finally, subscribe to this channel. We post new videos all the time.